now KCT 2025 aspirants. So finally the results are out and now after that what is the process? So if you know uh, after the seat has been allotted to you, you will be given four choices okay and you will have a fixed time to decide your choice and this choice is very very important to understand like how are you going to proceed with the next round of the counselling. So this whatever you decide, whatever choice you select after the first round will decide your uh, fate in the next rounds of the counselling. So it is very very important to understand these four choices in detail. So I am here to help you with this and I will be explaining all the four choices in detail and what is the meaning of these choices and after you select any of these choices what is the next process that you have to do. Okay, So everything is in uh, will be explained in detail so if you have any doubt so please watch the complete video and if you are an aspirant this video is a must watch video it is very very going to be important for you to if you because if you take a wrong decision here you will may end up in a like getting out of the counseling process or ending the counseling process so we'll talk in detail okay so first let's see what is the first choice we have so whenever a seat is allotted to you that means that you are 100% happy with the allotted college means whatever college you dreamt of whatever the college and branch you decide that college and branch is allotted to you and purse and prepare to take admission by paying the fee so if a desired college is already allotted to me i don't want any further option like the first preference is allotted to me uh, in that case not first preference but whatever is allotted to you want to join you are happy you don't want to go to the next rounds of counseling so in that process what in that case you can select choice one and once you select choice one you will have to pay the fees here okay so how to pay the fees and all we will discuss but after that further not willing to participate in the rounds of ugct or uginet once you select choice one that means you are informing to kea that you have given me the correct choice whichever i wanted i desired i got that so i am accepting that seat and i'm getting out of the counseling process now i will not be participating in the further rounds of counseling okay that is choice one now what is choice two satisfied with the college allotted but willing to participate in the next round for improvement from higher order options okay so now you think you have been suppose you have five choices okay you have given uh, let me just explain suppose you have been given five choices or you were uh, in the option entry you have put five choices and you have been allotted the fifth one so these all are the best options that you have chosen but now you are thinking that maybe in the round two you may get your third option if the cutoff goes lower or you can get better options in the next round okay you are happy with this it is not that you are not happy but if you think that okay if i participate in the next two rounds i may get much better options than this one in that case you have to select round two or choice two sorry so now what is the benefit here suppose you have selected choice two okay you have been allotted the fifth option that is their fifth college is allotted and you have been you have selected choice two now comes what this is the round one okay now comes round two in round two there is a possibility that you have been allotted any of these four colleges right or there is a possibility that there is no upgradation you are still allotted the same college so in this what you are doing you are selecting the seat you are holding the seat okay and you are going for the next round so if in the next round you are getting a better seat that is well and good but if you are not getting a better seat then you still have this option with you this is this will be a backup option so you have this fifth college with you you go to the next round and if you are getting one two three four then this one will be gone okay this fifth option is gone now you have got a better option suppose you have been allotted third option in the round two okay now what happens so this fifth option is no more with you you have this third option so for example there may be another case that you find that one from this four colleges the kea found that the cutoff is not matching your rank is too low from this for these colleges or these choices so what will happen you will be still be allotted the fifth one with you okay so you are on the safer side when you select choice two okay you have accepted that seat and you have participated in the next round if you get a better seat that is well and good your this seat will go if you are not uh, getting any seat the seat which was allotted in round one will still remain with you okay and uh, that is there 
नेक्स्ट इज योर चॉइस थ्री नॉट इंटरेस्टेड विद द अलॉटेड सीट हैंड सरेंडरिंग द सीट अलॉटेड बट लाइक्स टू पार्टिसिपेट इन द नेक्स्ट राउंड सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू हैव बिन अलॉटेड यू हैव पुट मैकेनिकल फॉर सम रीजन एंड मैकेनिकल इज बिन अलॉटेड टू यू बट यू आर सम वन हु वॉन्ट्स टू गो फॉर कंप्यूटर साइंस सो मैकेनिकल इज लाइक यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू स्टडी एट एनी कंडीशन यू आर कंप्लीटली नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन मैकेनिकल सो इन दैट केस वॉट यू विल डू यू कैन सिलेक्ट चॉइस थ्री सो इन दिस केस द सीट दैट वॉज अलॉट Noted to you. So now you had this one, two, three, four, and five. Suppose this was your mechanical, and this seat is allotted to you. Okay. Now if you select, this is in round one. Now in uh, after that will be uh, you have selected what here choice three. Okay. I have selected choice three. You have been allotted fifth college, fifth option, which is a mechanical option from our round one. Now in round two, what happens? See in round two what happens if you get a better seat out of this one two three four you will be allotted, okay. But in case the cut off here doesn't match or there is no vacancy in the seat for these branches, you did not get any seat in the out of these four. Then you will have no option left. You don't have the backup option of mechanical now. You will be losing the mechanical option once you select choice three. If you select choice two, this branch will be there. If you get any better one, you will get that. Otherwise, this will remain as it is. But in choice three, this is very risky. I'll tell you. If you select, if you get, if you're very confident that you will get out of any four of these options, then only go for choice three. But if you have doubt, then please don't select choice three. This is means you are if you are getting a better college. that is good but if you are not getting then you will be in trouble because the college which you was allotted in round 1 is no more with you okay next we have choice 4 where you have taken somewhere else admission so you want to exit the seat allotment process for example you have given je examination bits examination you have joined some other college better college you want to exit from the counseling process you can select choice 4 okay now we'll talk in detail about choice 1 okay so what are things here So choice one means that I am satisfied with the allotted seat and I am willing to report to the college. Therefore, I should not be considered for further rounds of seat allotment for any discipline, for any college, or for any course. When you have already selected choice one, that means you are very happy with the allotted seat and you are not going to participate in the next round. I will pay the prescribed fee by downloading the challenge. Uh, allotted details from the kea website i will download the admission order and report to the college immediately afterwards i will log in to my option entry login id and i will report to kea that i have joined the college so once you select the first choice that means you are very happy with the options that is allotted to you and you want to join that college so if you select that in that case what will happen you will uh, have to pay the fees okay there's a proper fee payment process where the challenge will be sent you have to pay the fees in a nearby uh, bank okay and then you have to uh, receive so if you select choice one you will get a admission order from the college okay suppose you have selected rvcs you are accepting that seat then you will get an admission order that okay okay uh, this candidate has been selected for this particular branch so that will be there with you okay next you have to but here you have to remember if you select choice one you have to pay the fees immediately okay so further the call so what will happen after that once you select so you will be paying the fees then you will be downloading the admission order and you will be informing the kea that you have decided or you have joined the college then the college authority will have to log in to their college id and report to the respective candidate has joined the college so this is for the college that you have choose so you have informed kea the college will inform kea okay this student has joined both the parties have confirmed to the kea that this seat is now blocked okay so if a candidate fails to report back to kea that he or she has joined then the seat will be cancelled so if you have after payment of fees you have joined the college but you forget to report the kea that means the seat will be cancelled at that time so we will talk about this in detail also so further any candidate who has paid the fees and obtained the admission order and fails to report the college on or before the last date and time specified by kea in the admission order for such candidates no extension time will be given and the allotment made will be treated as a cancelled and he has no further claim for such allotment and will not be considered for the subsequent rounds so there are two things once you have uh, paid the fees okay you have admission order you have to report to the college 
and you have to inform to the KEA. If you miss out on any one of this, you have not reported to the college or you have not informed KEA or you have not done any of the any of like both of this, then in that case the seat will be cancelled. Okay. Next, if we move to choice two, so here, uh, sorry, there is an implication you are you will now since you have already accepted the seat, you are not eligible for further rounds. And before opting for choice, candidate is advised to make sure that she cannot come back to the option entry. Okay, so you cannot. So this is from the information bulletin of 2024. So the date is like this. So you will not be able to participate again in the counselling process. Moving to choice two, I am satisfied with the allotted seat but wish to participate in the next round with higher order options. If higher order options are allotted, then earlier allotted seat gets cancelled automatically or if the higher option seats are not allotted, then the earlier allotted seat will remain in the candidate's favour. This I have already explained in detail. If you have selected choice two, if the higher options is allotted, the one which is allotted to you will go. If not, then that will also remain with you. Okay, so this is a safety like backup option. So eligible, you will be now eligible to participate in the subsequent rounds. And however, a seat in the higher options get allotted, the candidate loses his old seat. There is no choice between the earlier and the newly allotted seat. Okay, so you suppose fifth option is allotted to you. Now third option is allotted to you. You cannot choose between five and three. It is that three will be allotted and five will go from your pocket. Okay. So, fresh options entry will be permitted only when the new college's courses are included in the seat matrix after the allotment of first round. So, definitely as we know, it has one time option entry, no new seat allotment, uh, no new courses can be added. But yes, if there is a new college or new course has been included in the KCT, then you can add that option. Okay, But that rarely happens. Coming to choice three. So here I am not satisfied with allotted seat but wish to participate in the next round with all the already entered options except the allotted option by surrendering the allotted seat and also reordering of the already entered options. Okay, So whichever seat that is already allotted to you that you are rejecting. right? So in the next round that seat will not be considered all other above it whatever options are present that will be considered. So you will be eligible to participate in the next round. And chances of getting the lower order options is subject to ability availability of the seats as the other candidates next to your rank might have entered those options and the seats would have been allotted to them based on the merit. So here what happens? Suppose you have allotted, you have given, now see, suppose you have given seven options, okay? The fifth one is allotted to you. You are not interested in that. Now this one is not in the next round when you go to round two, the KEA will have only these options the lower options are also available for you okay from any of this you will be allotted a seat okay then moving to the fourth one i am not satisfied with the ke and you have got a seat else somewhere else so you just have to quit here uh, and no, not be considered for the further rounds and you are not eligible to participate in the subsequent round no ho no hold on the allotted seat and seat allotted earlier will get cancelled okay so that is very easy if you are exiting from the process then you don't have any touch with kea now okay so these are the four choices and you have to be very very alert focused and think properly before choosing any of these choices because that will uh, that will uh, affect your future rounds of counseling so my suggestion is if you are very uh, sure then definitely go for choice one if that is the allotted college otherwise select choice two choice three please try to avoid unless it is something which is like completely uh, not uh, of your uh, choice completely you are uh, like uh, reluctant to join that particular course then only go for choice three otherwise select choice two if you want for better options okay so that's all in this video if you have further any doubts do comment down i'll definitely address it